Good morning everybody or wherever you are in the world. Hello to you. Tēnā koutou. Welcome everyone. Um, I hope that I'll have some people join me today. That'll be really fun. So here I am. It's Sunday morning and I'm in the garage which is where I craft washing line. <laughs> um, so join me and I'll just wait for a few people to jump in and then we'll get going. Um, so I just wanted to tell you a bit about why I'm doing this. Um, and I just thought, well, the main reason is just because I thought it would be fun. Um, so I'll show you the cards that I made for the Fancy Friday blog hop on Friday. Yeah, Friday my time. It kind of goes live on Saturday my time, but this is one of them. You'll probably see it backwards because I'm on the front facing camera. So apologies for that. So there's my little cacti. And this is the one that we're going to be making together today. So I haven't pre-cut anything. I wanted to do this real time so that those of you who are doing this along with me have time to cut and adhere and everything along with me. Um, if you're watching the replay, that's cool too. You can just skip through little boring bits. But <laughs> hopefully for those live, it'll be easier um, as we go along. So let me just wait a few minutes before maybe a couple more people jump in. If you're there, tell me where you're from and um, I'd love to know who's watching. So yeah. So where are you from? <laughs> then I'm going to go through what you'll need, though I hope that you've already gathered your supplies, but um, yeah. Hello to viewers. Now I know that comments take a little while to delay and do ask questions as we go along. Um, and I'll try and answer them as best I can and look at my phone at the same time as I craft. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so hi. Oh, hi Paula. Good morning. Good to have you here. <laughs> Oh, hi, Crystal from Florida. Hi. Nice to have you along. <laughs> that says, congratulations. This is your most commented on live video yet. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. So, maybe we'll just get going, eh? I'll turn you guys around. And then I'll tell you what you need. Hopefully you've gathered your supplies. So, here we go. Alrighty. So I'm gonna place you in my little phone hammock here. Phone hammock. Hopefully you don't get sea legs from it wobbling too much. There, you can see me. All good. Hi. Okay. So this is what you need. I've picked out the Oh What Fun stamp set to go with Birthday Fiesta. You could use another Christmas greeting stamp set, totally up to you. Um, so those two sets and obviously the clear blocks to go along with them um, and then here I have the Fiesta Time framelits <laughs> you're used to motion sickness after the earthquake sadly true um, this is watercolour paper and as I say, I haven't pre-cut anything. These were kind of just scraps. So um, you'll also need your doilies. Your linen thread. This is part of the um, designer series paper stacks. The bright, brights one. So this is a piece of real red. That's what it looks like. Very Christmassy. Um, here is a scrap of basic black. And crumb cake and here I have our two standard card sizes so this is our one in New Zealand Australia and the UK in Europe maybe maybe not Europe um, and this is the American card size so in Canada so hopefully what we're doing today is actually going to fit onto both of those because it's just the central tag here so 
um, I kind of measured it up and thought, yeah, that'll do the same. So measurements wise, everything should be all gravy for your um, US letter size as well. And I just thought I would add, if you are joining in and you're making the card, post me a picture of what yours turns out like in the comments afterwards, and I will draw one person to send the other card to. Um, doesn't matter where you are in the world, I will send it to you with a personal message from me. Um, so if you do join in today, I'd love to see what you make, because you might have a different sentiment or a slightly different tweak on your one. So cool let's get started okay so what you need to do first is grab your watercolor paper um, where can I put this pile so I don't lose everything here we go and your trimmer so I've already got this I think it was yeah so that's 11 centimeters for me which is four and three eighth inches so I'm just going to trim that down to make our tag and that's going to be down to six and a half centimeters which is about two and a half inches so you can go ahead and trim that now this part is important that we do it first because we're going to need our drying time so I've got my aqua painter here mint macaron Give it a good squeeze. Alrighty, so you're just going to make your brush wet. Um, sometimes I find it better to wet the page a little bit first so that we don't get the ink drying halfway through and making too many streaky lines. So pick up a good amount of colour there and paint it on and we're going to set this aside to dry okay hopefully I haven't done it so wet that it <laughs> won't dry at all in this, these few minutes but so that's all we need for now let that dry for a little bit you can get your heat tool out and do that quicker if you need to, but hopefully that's going to come together okay. So next we're going to do the card base, and then we are going to do all the little bits, and then hopefully we can stick that together at the end. Um, okay, so I've got my Whisper White craft ink here. I have been cranking this baby out heaps lately ever since my cousin wanted to use it on some chalkboardy projects <laughs> so um it's getting a good workout i haven't used it so much in ages um so to create the stone washy kind of effect on the back i'm just gonna take that straight to my card base and be kind of haphazard about it because it's supposed to be like that Um, there we go and so that's all you need to do for that and then we're going to make our llama Is everybody keeping up I hope you're keeping up um, llama llama this guy is my favorite my friend Cindy knows how much I harp on about him <laughs> Oh, sorry, motion sickness. Bump the hammock. There we go. So just okay. a bit of black for this one. Oh, I didn't list this ink in my supplies. Sorry. Hopefully that was kind of obvious. I don't know. So I'm just going to stamp him. He's so cute. I love him so much. Did you also see that he's in the... Um, mini catalogue at the moment he's a bit more festive in that one but um, I'm using him for Christmas cards as he is so next to me I've just got my big shot and I'm going to wheel that through on there in fact there we go 
So I use the magnetic platform a lot for this kind of thing. Um, saves you using post-it notes and stuff like that. Um, and it saves you fluffing around with the different heights of base that you need. So that's the one that's on. There's our llama. Okay, so now we've got our car base and our llama. Llama, llama, save your drama for your llama. Um, here we go. And next we're going to do our red part. So this one you need to trim down to, um, I've already got it three inches here. And then we're going to put it to one inch wide, which is two and a half centimeters. So that's three by one, or two and a half by 7.6-ish. I hope that makes sense. I never kind of measure these things while I'm making the actual card. I just kind of go, oh yeah, what fits? <laughs> I think probably most people do that. Um, okay, so that bit's done. And then we're going to stamp our jolly. So here he is. So there are lots of sentiments you could use for this, of course. Um, whatever takes your fancy, but <laughs> it kind of fitted because he's a, such a jolly llama. All right. So again with our Whisper White ink. I'll take that off so I can see properly. Um, now I'm just going to line that up against the bottom of my cardstock, kind of to the edge. Like that. And I'll take that off because I need this one later. And then I'm going to trim him down. Now I actually, I don't know if you can see this okay, but I use my ruler quite a lot for um, a guideline for cutting out sentiments. So I've already kind of placed that one at the edge and then what I will do is scoot it through till I just can't see the letters. Well, so the letters are just under the side of the track um, and that gives me good spacing and gets it straight hopefully live <laughs> um, so that's kind of what it looks like this piece is going to end up being roughly um, two and three quarter inches long um, so you just need to give it a bit of space when you're cutting it um, I'm just going to trim that down so I always trim in the center first I'll just measure it off my one so I kind of get it right, um, like this. So when you clip in the center first, it avoids you having like, ah, oh, damn, it's not quite centered. Ah, oh. mm -hmm. okay. So that's how I do it. <laughs> Little handy tip. All right. So now we've got all of our elements here. And we're just going to, maybe we could cut the ribbon now too. I'm left handed so my scissors often don't cut ribbons so well. But you kind of need... Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to use my right hand. Because these ones aren't sharp and my sharp ones are somewhere else. So you kind of need, I don't know, four inches, ten centimeters ish, and then you're going to need a good long piece of linen thread. <laughs> Yours are usually off crystal, yeah, that happens. Anyway, center next time, center first. So. I don't know how long that is. You can guess. You guys aren't, aren't silly. Alright, so hopefully this is dry enough for us now. 
and then we're going to stamp our cacti on it. So who has desert in, at Christmas time? Where in the world are you from? So kind of going at random-ish. I try not to line them up too much. Like I, I don't know, I don't really like them all in rows. So I kind of get it off if I can. Obviously I didn't do that too well with this one. And then just stamping off the edges as well. Probably gonna cut that bit anyway. All right, so that part's done. So you guys keeping up? Should I just leave that there for a minute? Let you do that palm trees at Christmas. Nice. We have our Pahutakawa trees blossom over summer and they are our New Zealand Christmas tree. Um, they're beautiful and they are all along the beach of France and when they start coming out it feels like Christmas. So literally I'm going to guess how much I need here off the corners. So we're just going to snip like that. The watercolour paper is 11 centimetres long, 4 and 3 eighths. Um, so you can kind of just flip one corner over to the other side so you get them matching. It doesn't always work, but um, hopefully today. Is that good enough? I hope so. It's sort of covered by the ribbons, so don't be too precious about it. Oh, there's my husband's drill battery, and I can't. Yeah. All right. So um, I still use my cropper all the time. I know it's retired, but it's an excellent tool. But if you've got your um, handheld punch or just a normal hole punch, that's what you need for the top. Kind of a quarter inch down. Make a hole, a big hole-ish. Alright, so let's compile our tag and then we're almost done. I'm going to pull through this one first. And tie. Then I'm going to lay my red across. Tie again. And kind of get that to where I'm sitting. Where I want it to sit, rather. Might have made that a tiny bit short, but it will work. And now I'm just going to tie a bow. I hope you guys can see this okay. And I'm going to pull that right through almost to the ends of the string. And then I'm going to tie another bow on top of that. And kind of just let it how it lies. Don't need to fiddle too much. Um, so that's that looking good. Next I'm going to take my fast fuse. Oh sorry, not to you again. Honestly I'll have to show you my setup. I found a good use for my extended cutting pads from the Big Shot that I never use. Um, I'll show it to you at the end. So I'm just going to do my fast fuse there and stick this across. But Kind of check where your llama will sit. So 
so he needs to go sort of topish up there. Yep. And then we're going to use dimensionals to pop up our jolly sentiment. towards the top so Lama's got room for his ears and then we're going to use dimensionals on the back of him as well maybe three would probably do it three or four three there we go ah stick it to the desk my daughter loves dimensional. She helps me peel off backings all the time. <laughs> it makes her feel important. So we might overlap a little and that's a good thing. Maybe to the side. Find where he fits for you. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just going to... I just use these doilies quite haphazard, just pick off bits and use bits and not worry too much about them. So you just need to stick them on before you stick your tag on. Let's have a look. You can probably hear my clock ticking, can you? That's a nice sound, you know why? Because that means my house is quiet. Okay, so we're looking good, guys. We're pretty much done. Then you just need to stick it on your card. There we go. Merry Jolly Christmas. Okay, so here we have now two llama friends. Um, yeah, you're done. Are you guys done? Who made it along with me? <laughs> Alrighty. So as I say, if you've made one today or if you're watching replay, um, you've got 24 hours to post the card you made in the comments on this video. And I will pick a random person to send the other Christmas card that I had on the Fancy Friday blog. So this one, same technique. So you could totally do this. Um, it's just got the glimmer paper, same red paper. This uses the new Stitch Shapes framelits. I said that without getting tongue-tied. <laughs> and same deal at the top, except I only did a single bow. Um, if you do stamp the cacti in the background though on this one, you need to do it first before you do the whisper white so that you don't get white patches on your macaron because um, it kind of does come up. So yeah, so that's all. I'm going to turn you around again. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, Crystal and Paula, for all your comments and anybody else that I missed. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will catch you another time. See you guys. Bye.